And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering. Then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. And they said, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds, and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was on you all, and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds, and images of your mice that mar the land. And ye shall give glory unto the God of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hand from off you, and from off your gods, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts, as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts? When he had wrought wonderfully among them, did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two milch kine, on which there hath come no yoke, and tie the kine to the cart, and bring their calves home from them, and take the ark of the Lord, and lay it upon the cart, and put the jewels of gold which ye return him for a trespass offering, in a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away that it may go. And see, if it goeth up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh, then he hath done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that smote us, it was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milch kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer with the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds. And the kine took the straight way to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand, or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them, unto the border of Beth Shemesh. And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping in their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted up their eyes, and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua, a Bethshemite, and stood there where there was a great stone. And they clave the wood of the cart, and offered the kine a burnt offering unto the Lord. When the Levites took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone, and the men of Bethshemesh offered burnt offerings, sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering unto the Lord. For Ashdod, one. For Gaza, one. For Ascalon, one. For Gath, one. For Ekron one. And the golden mice, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines belonging to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of country villages, even unto the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua the Bethshemite. And he smote the men of Bethshemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people 
with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of kirjath Jerem, saying, The Philistines have brought again the ark of the Lord. Come ye down, and fetch it up to you. And the men of kirjath Jerem came, and fetched up the ark of the Lord, and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill, and sanctified Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, while the ark abode in kirjath Jerem, that the time was long, for it was twenty years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the children of Israel did put away Baalim and Ashtaroth, and served the Lord only. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together to Mizpah, and drew water, and poured it out before the Lord, and fasted on that day, and said there, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said unto Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sucking lamb, and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them. And they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah, and pursued the Philistines, and smote them, until they came under Bethkar. Then Samuel took a stone, and set it between Mizpah and Shen, and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued and they came no more into the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron even unto Gath, and the coasts thereof did Israel deliver out of the hands of the Philistines. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. And he went from year to year in circuit to Bethel and Gilgal and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. And his return was to Ramah, for there was his house. And there he judged Israel. And there he built an altar unto the Lord. 